All right. So our book is continuing with the odyssey of how many times can we work the same problem in different ways? All right. So part three. So we've got our flywheel. All right. And it says it rotates with an angular velocity of omega is four root theta. All right. Okay. So that's a little odd. Okay. But that wouldn't be the first time we've seen something artificially odd, right? Determine the time. So that's our target. We're going to be looking for a T value for something that it takes to achieve uh, an angular velocity of omega equals such and such when T is zero and theta is equal to one. Okay. Mm. Do you see what they've done to us? This was not very nice. So they give us omega as a function of theta. So we get omega as a function of theta. But in order to find a time, we're going to need omega as a function of time. OK, if we can get omega as a function of time, then all we have to do is set omega equal to 150, and then we're good to go. But how do we make this switcheroo here? Okay, Part of the clue is that they tell us this right here. When do we see that sort of thing? We see that when we have to integrate. Ah. Okay, so we're going to have to integrate something, which means we're going to jump into our differential equations toolbox. So let's do that. We begin with omega itself. Oh, that's too big. We begin with omega, and it's 4 root theta. We've got that for sure. But omega is a d theta dt. Aha! So now we can apply our separation, separation of variables information and um, do that. So let me go ahead and take care of that. So we're looking at 4 dt is equal to theta to the minus 1 half d theta, like so. At that point, then, we are ready to do some integral work. So we set that up here and here. Um, we're going to end up with theta as a function of time. Let's start with the beginning set of endpoints. So it says at t at t equals 0, theta is 1. So we've got a 0 there and a 1 over here. Then we're going to integrate to some arbitrary time and some arbitrary angle. Okay, And what that's going to end up doing for us is getting us theta as a function of t. So let's pull that off. We've got 4t. It's going to turn into 1 half theta to the one half from one to theta. Okay. Now this side then, let's go ahead and plug in our limits. We've got theta to the one half minus one. All right. So let's do a little bit of algebra with this thing. Okay. So I'm going to take my, I'm going to do a couple of steps in one. I'm going to take my half to the other side. And then I'm going to take my one to the other side or this way from your perspective there. Okay, so then we've got 8t plus 1 is equal to theta to the 1 half. Square the universe, and we get that theta is 8t plus 1 squared. Okay, so now we've got theta as a function of time. Hooray! So that's cool. Let me sort of highlight that guy right there. 
So that's kind of our key, because what we're going to do then is we're going to take that expression for theta, and we're going to put it into our original expression for omega. So omega is for square root of theta. So we're going to have 4 times um, 4 on to 8t plus 1 squared square root, just like so. Um, so then omega becomes, uh, I'm going to end up with 8t plus 1 times 4 is going to give me 32t plus 4. Okay. Boop. Okay. Now we have omega as a function of time, and the only thing that would be left to do is to set omega equal to what it tells us there, the 150, okay, and solve 32 plus 4. Solve that for t, and then we got our answer. Okay, so this sort of thing is going to come up from time to time. We haven't done it in a little while. We did a little bit of it when we were doing linear variables. Um, so we've got tools at our disposal where we can change from theta values to t values and, and just sort of substitute back and forth as needed. Um, there's good news and bad news. Good news is this isn't too bad. Okay, it's but uh, the bad news is you kind of only really figure out the easy ways to do it uh, through trial and error. Okay, so if you move one direction, just try something else. Okay, don't bang your head on the wall all day. Just see if there's another direction you can go. Sometimes you can't see the way forward. Sometimes uh, you'd be like, I don't know how that's going to work out. That just seems stupid. Follow it anyway. If it really is stupid, that will become obvious. Okay, uh, but sometimes things that you think aren't going to work out really do. All right, so, um, okay.